Like Auburn, Alabama and Florida State, Miami, South Carolina and Clemson have that in-state feeling in their rivalry. Families are divided by their allegiance when these two teams finish their regular season against each other. And as we find out in our GMC Profiles in Professionalism, this is a game for Palmetto Pride. I love being uh, South Carolina in football. But it would give me a bigger thrill if I beat them in horseshoe. Almost every year it's for one or both teams to go to a bowl and maybe a major bowl. I, I don't know that it's a, uh, that's getting a fight hatred, but it, it, it's pretty close. Hatred is equal on both sides. I don't hate the people of Clemson. You know, it's just the entity of Clemson that I'm not very fond of. Intense as this rivalry is on the field, they're just as passionate in the stand. Fans from all over the great state of South Carolina flock to one game every year to see two teams battle it out for state bragging rights. What's so different about Clemson and South Carolina, other than that we hate each other, it is that uh, it's in state. And that because it's in state, is that you got Gamecocks and you got Tigers with family members. I've talked to several people where uh, one son went to one place, another daughter went to there, or one uh, husband went here and their wife went there. So it, it has been known to split families. We're brother and sister, and we both graduated in May 2002, Carolina. Graduated to Clemson. When you grow up, you either pick, hey, I'm a South Carolina guy or I'm a Clemson guy, and they talk at 365. Carolina's going to come in and just, just roll over them. Oh, it'll be a tie. Man. Tide's going to change today. And then after this year, they're going to say, wait until next year, wait until next year. It gives us a good reason to dislike them, even our family members on that one day. You know, the, one of the funniest things when you drive down the road, you see a license plate that is split. Uh, you can just imagine that household. And as much as the fans have kept this rivalry so intense, it's the players themselves from the state of South Carolina that have continued the tradition. When a guy decides to go to Carolina and another guy decides to go to Clemson, that, that those rivalries get even more intense. We had a lot of teammates uh, uh, that played together in high school, and, and now they're going at it, and uh, it gets heated. And as heated as this rivalry has been through generations, the showdown in 2004 saw the emotions of this game rise to a new level. Clemson comes running down the field, down the hill, onto the field, and the South Carolina players were at the bottom of the hill, yelling stuff, taunting the players as they came down the hill, and it was bad blood from that point on. And now we've got some extracurricular activity out there. This was bound to happen. And now both benches start to empty. We talked about the fans living this rivalry 365, 24-7. Uh, well, on this particular day, uh, the players got to the fever pitch that the fans create for themselves all year long. We knew this was going to happen sooner or later. Uh-oh, Justin Miller and Matthew Thomas are getting into it. And this is this is an ugly... Who's the idiot that took the helmet off? I mean, this is ridiculous. My job as a sideline reporter is to tell what's going on down there, and um, I, I've never been afraid before on the sidelines. I was afraid. Some of those guys over there didn't play; they have not busted great. Dacus Terman is one of them. He ran after you. He ran after Dwayne Coleman on a dead truck, took off after him, and hit him in the end zone. Well, he's a, he hadn't played a lick. If not have the helmet on anymore. We seem to take uh, note of the players who hadn't been involved in the game whatsoever getting licks in uh, during the brawl. And that seemed to offend both Doc and myself, and, and it should offend anybody. Doc Walker said it best. You had guys that hadn't busted a grape all day running out there trying to hit somebody. That's what really astounded me. And the guys on the field pushing and shoving, we've seen that before. Referees can break that up. But all of a sudden, when both benches ran out onto the field, I was shocked. 
It was bad, there's no question about it. But that's athletics played at a high, high level. It should never be accepted. Uh, but anybody that doesn't think that football is a violent sport where you play on the edge of chaos at every moment, you don't know football very well. But not one incident in one game could tarnish the legacy of this great rivalry. It will always be the unforgettable plays that will stand out in our minds forever. The catch was uh, the Jerry Butler catch. And then all of a sudden he throws that ball into the end zone and uh, Jerry Butler reaches up and makes an unbelievable catch. And then we come back and win the game. And I mean, it was just unbelievable. If you had to make one play that really turned the uh, heritage of Clemson football, that, that would be one of them. no question we were having fun um, and, and that was important and again we, we had such a tough beginning of the year starting out 0 5 that there was no fun uh, and and then to be beating our rivals uh, at their place uh, it, it, it made it pretty fun home run swings and all that stuff I to be honest I, you know you're 19 years old in front of 85,000 having fun and, and that's what it was but uh, that atmosphere that day was the best atmosphere we were in. Well, certainly in recent years, the 2000 game uh, was uh, was quite a finish. You talk about a catch, we kind of refer to Rod Gardner's catch as the catch two, uh, coming down to the final minutes of that game. Uh, Woody Damster threw a long pass down the right sideline and uh, Gardner made the catch. South Carolina fans will tell you that he pushed off to make the catch. Uh, Clemson fans will tell you that it was just a minor separation that was created, uh, but it set up a game-winning field goal by Aaron Hunt, gave Clemson a 16-14 uh, victory. That was certainly one of the more uh, memorable uh, plays and performances. Much of this rivalry has been based on tradition and history, so it's the fans that have kept this in-state feud so exciting. From old eras to new, rural versus urban, garnet versus orange, the battle of the Palmetto State rages on.